Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Suj, aka The Rustic Wanderer. Today's video, as you can guess from the backdrop behind me, is about winter here in central Finland. I'm in Olu. If you haven't seen the get to know me video, you can check the link in the i button above and you can get to know more about what is it that I'm doing here in Olu. So today is uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is more or less the normal winter here in Olu. So let's get started and let me show you around what's it like my experience surviving minus 20 degrees in Finland. So the winter here in Finland, it's not my first winter. I've already seen about two or three winters because I've been here for nearly three years now. So before moving to Olu, I was in Helsinki in the capital area where it did go to minus 20 or somewhat similar temperatures, but that was only a couple of days. Um, in the entire winter duration but here in Olu it's very normal to have weeks or even longer where the temperature stays that low so it's a quite a different experience up here in central Finland um, also what makes it harsh is not just the fact that it's sub-zero it's also the fact that this beautiful sunshine is missing for better part of the winter it's only for the past couple of days that we've started seeing the sun so I thought might as well go out and start capturing the sunshine before we lose it again so as you can see, there is plenty of snow around, even in the forest. The atmosphere is quite different now. So let's get, try to get a bit closer to the sun and continue vlogging from there. So the cool thing about winter in Finland is, unlike Japan where they have water sprinklers on the roads and in some other parts of the world where they sprinkle salt, here they have these big plow machines, um, somewhat similar to JCBs if you're from India, where they have the big plows attached in front on the sides where they shovel all the snow to the side to make way for the cars to go. They also clean a bit of the walking path as well. And then they put this kind of small gravel on the floor to give you some traction to walk. Um, it gets a bit slippery as well because when the heavy machines move on top of the snow, they press it down and then it becomes like a sheet of ice. So you have to be careful while you're trying to walk. islands has this small kind of walking slash bicycle bridge that connects them so you can go hop over and then there is this flowing sort of river in the middle up until a short while ago when the weather was not so cold some people were even doing fishing here so let's try to hop on to that side of the island and take a closer look
one cool thing about this island that I'm on are these kind of powerhouses or power transmission boxes. They have made really amazing graffitis on almost all of them. It's just an amazing sight. And at the bottom, the artist has signed their name and the date when they made it. Another cool feature that I find on most of these islands is this kind of uh, public barbecue pit with benches all around taken care of so you can enjoy a nice and warm barbecue especially in a weather like this. They also have these public dustbins nearby so you can keep the place clean. As this is a public barbecue so you can bring your own food, your own fuel and enjoy a nice picnic. This makes it a really nice spot. In the summer, as you can see, there is uh, water, there are some uh, private boats out there as well, small ones. I believe those belong to the fishermen that sometimes venture out into the water to catch the fishes. Um, also, at the end, there is this path which you can take to if you want to take a dip in the water. I guess now is not the best time because it's really cold. And you can see the sun is about to set. Looks uh, like a very beautiful sunset. this view all of this water is supposed to be flowing but here it's all frozen and you can even see footsteps of the people that have tried to walk on this it's really amazing given that a few months ago when it had not snowed this used to be the place where there was all flowing water now you can literally walk on it and there you can see at the distance the sun is about to set which means things are gonna get real cold <laughs> So another winter activity in Finland is ice fishing. What you can see is this equipment is used to drill a hole. Then they put these kind of wooden sticks to mark the hole. And then they put in some bait like that guy is doing there. And then they wait to catch the fish. In what follows the next clip we'll show you a detailed closer look of the art of winter fishing or ice fishing. This was it guys, a short and sweet log in minus 20 uh, in a beautiful snow laden neighborhood near my house in Poland, Finland. Before I go back home because the sun is about to set, I'm just gonna play around a little bit in the snow. So enjoy some cinematic shots and then it's time to go home. This was Rustic Wanderer signing off from a really cold chilly day 
And remember, I almost froze my ass off to make this video. So be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel to show your love and support. Take care and keep enjoying, keep showing your love.